Science. All over the world, scientists are using nanotechnology to create new treatments for diabetes. Let's have a look at two different European projects that could help change the life of millions. For years, researchers and patients have been dreaming of an insulin pill that could save diabetics from frequent injections. But the fact that acids in the stomach destroys the insulin before it can enter the bloodstream has been a major obstacle. in Coimbra, a team of Portuguese researchers have overcome that problem with the development of a biodegradable polymer-based nanoparticle. The main challenge scientists face now surrounds the size and the strength of the pill. The insulin molecule has to be strong enough to resist the environment of the stomach and at the same time small enough to be absorbed in the intestine. Using the new nanoparticle created at Coimbra University, the insulin passed through the intestine of around 30% of rats tested. The research has been conducted for about 10 years. We have discovered the mechanism of the passage of orally administered insulin into the blood. In these recent studies, we were able to have a good bioavailability of around 30% of oral insulin, while in the previous research it was no more than 5%. After the test in rats, the nanoparticles will be tested in bigger animals and then it will move into late stage and more accurate clinical testing. Scientists believe these much anticipated pills will be on the market in less than 10 years. This little pad with scores of needles is another nanotechnology that could change the way diabetics live. Each micro needle contains its own sophisticated sensor or nano wire, which is completely invisible to the naked eye. The technology allows the blood to be constantly collected and analysed. The research is being conducted at Swansea University in England. The length of the needles is about one millimetre and is having a diameter of about uh, 50 microns. And, and that offers a painless experience to the patient uh, when, when using it. These needles will be attached to the arm of the patient and blood sample will be drawn uh, using these micro needles. And the sensors which is developed using the nanowires technology will be integrated into the micro needles and that offer a, a painless uh, detection of the blood glucose and the continuous monitoring of blood glucose. The team is now in the middle of developing a transmitter that will send an SMS message to a hospital or to relatives as soon as a patient is at risk of a hypoglycemic attack. The longer term potential for continuous um, blood glucose monitoring is really very exciting indeed um, because if, one, if a patient was to wear this uh, 24 hours a day it would be uh, an enormous benefit in, in terms of in, uh, understanding the way that their blood glucose responds to what they eat and what they do during the day and potentially could have a, have a, a role in uh, perhaps automating the, um, the, uh, the introduction of insulin into the bloodstream, which is the mechanism which is used um, naturally to, to moderate blood glucose levels. This new technology is expected to improve the lives of the 366 million type 1 and type 2 diabetics worldwide. The World Health Organization believes the number of diabetes cases will have doubled by 2030.